Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green version. In the last episode, we made it through Route 14 and 15 and made it here in Future City. Well, we made it to Future City and without further ado, we're not having any dilly dallying, we're going into the gym. Alrighty, so first things first, Future City Pokemon Gym Leader, Koga, winning trainers, Gary. You already know our rival, he's always before us. Uh, I'm beating the gym leader, you know, except for some occasions. Um, but yeah, just saying, it's probably the hardest gym so far. This is going to be a pretty tough gym. Uh, we only have one strength against it. Now, poison is weak to ground and psychic. And the only ground type move we have is on Toxicated and Nido King. Being Dig, and uh, Dig's like 60 power or 80 power, I can't really remember. Um, so it's going to be pretty hard. And also there's a lot of Psychic types in here. Which I don't want to get why, but there is. Um, yeah. <laughs> they don't use some Psychic types. Like, I really don't get it. I mean, some Poison types. They're just filling in with Psychic types, like Hypno. So got, like, there's quite a few Hypnos and Dreads in here. It's kind of weird. Hypno goes down, and there we go, Juggler Kaiden is down. What? Extraordinary! Is that a new trainer class? A Juggler. Even though it's got the same spot as like the guitarists. Um, but whatever. You know what, we are going to need to get some potions soon. Um, yeah, I'll go stock up on some potions like when we're closer to Koga. Like when we defeat the rest of the trainers in here. I was actually thinking of going back on to the last uh, few routes that we've done in the last two episodes. Uh, I'm going to the trains when we missed out, but I don't know. I think if I do that, I'll do it after this episode or after the episode after this. <laughs> um, because I didn't want to have like all my like, Pokemon just like hugely boosted, ready for the gym. It's like, I don't know. I didn't want to see if, you know, uh, we need that extra training or not. You know, um, there we go. Hurricanes one shot at that Drezzy. I believe it was a, a critical hit, but I'm not too sure. Let's see if it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh, oh my god, now poison gas. This is bad. No, <laughs> we do not like poison gas. This is a. Uh, this isn't very necessary right now. Like one of my least favorite moves to go up against in this game. As I hate being poisoned, and it's even worse when you don't have antidotes. But you know what? Let's just go into Toxicated and let's finish this guy off. And there we go, with that, this guy is down. And Juggler Kirk has been defeated. I'm done for. Yeah, you are. And it is finally time. Since you were a PG at the start of the game, Hurricane. Even though your name used to be Hiri Kane, I've always loved you. You're one of the literally the best flying types in the game, if not the best, uh, to use on your team. And Pidgeotto was great, and it was going to be even better as a Pidgeot. Congratulations, your Hurricane evolved into Pidgeot. And uh, if that sprite didn't scare you enough, then, you know, he will soon enough. And without further ado, I'm going to go get some Pokemon, uh, stuff from the Pokemon and heal up, and I'll be back. There we go, we're all healed up and we got some items from the Pokemon. And here we have a Pidgeot. Pretty ruthless geezer. He's, uh, you know, all fully evolved now. So, there we go. We don't have to focus on him. I always think this that Pidgeot evolves into Pidgeot at level 34 every playthrough. And then I'm like, no, he does evolve at 36. I don't know why I always think 32 or 34 or something. It's weird. It's one of those reoccurring things that I always think every time I use Pidgey on my team. And then it's Pidgeotto and then Pidgeot, so there you go. Now, let's just dig through these guys. Uh, Toxicated. Just, let's just say we just can't wait till Earthquake. We said it last time. Oh my god, it's going to be so good. Toxicated gets level 35. And there we go. Timer Edgar is down. Oh, okay. Good thing I, I bought some full heals. There we go. Toxicated is all healed up. And pretty much the whole puzzle to this gym 
um, is that there's invisible walls and we have got to kind of scatter around and try and find the uh, well where the invisible walls aren't there and try and make our way to the gym leader pretty much. Toxic Addy gets to level 36 and time of fill is down. Gonna go for another hyper potion here. This is this gym is pretty annoying, not gonna lie. Um, the Pokemon here, oh, they just use like glare and stuff, so they put you like paralyzed and you know, been using Thrash on Nido King as well as Dig, so we've been getting confused as well. So it's just a hard time, really. It's just pretty annoying these trainers are. And Juggler Sean is down. You are more skilled than I thought. I'm trying to think I'm dumb. More. Um. Yep. Just use a super potion now. Yeah. That's seven health. You know, let's just go for another. <laughs> That's seven health. You know, gonna come in handy. Uh, but you know what? Is it worth? Oh, we can't even get to the last guy that way. Uh, okay. Nope. We're literally forced to tag on Koga right now. You already know. Save. Heal up, as this guy is going to be a pain. <laughs> a mere child like you dares to challenge me? The very idea makes me shiver with mirth. Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. Poison brings steady doom. Sleep renders foes helpless. Despair to the creeping horror of poison type Pokemon. Here we have the fifth gym leader of the Kanto region, Koga. Now, this is going to be the hardest gym by yet. <laughs> Koga starts off with Coughing, level 37. Poison type Pokemon with the ability Levitate, with a move Self Destruct, Sludge, Smoke Screen, and Toxic. Now, Toxic is going to put your Pokemon poisoned. So, that's going to be pretty annoying. Uh, sludge, poison type attack that gives that can poison the opponent. Smoke screen, lowers the opponent. Uh, what's it called? Um, evasion, basically. Just no, lowers your accuracy, so you're less likely to hit it. Self destruct, kills itself, and does 200, uh, 200 power. So it kills itself, and it's most likely going to kill you as well. This thing is annoying. This guy also has two coffins with the exact same moves, basically the exact same. We just clone the same coffin pretty much. Um, but yeah, he's kind of the least of your worries. These two coffins aren't that much to worry about. But here we are, he's going to, into one of his big guns. Koga's second Pokemon, Muk, level 39. Poison type Pokemon with the ability Sticky Hold with the moves Minimize, Sludge, Acid Armor, and Toxic. Now, Acid Armor, I'm pretty sure, just um, hires his eviseness. Uh, so you're less likely to hit him. Either that or it's, it's uh, defense. But this is the only Pokemon in the entire gym that we're actually able to hit Dig with, as the rest all have Levitate. So, this is pretty annoying. What's weird as well, as he uses two Coughings instead of a Coughing and a Grimer. Like, why? <laughs> but, I don't know. I guess this guy's not a fan of Grimer or Venomoth or anything like that. He just likes to using two Coughings. <laughs> um, what's good is we're probably going to get level... Well, yeah, we are going to get level 37 from this. Uh, I, I was going to say, is that our ah, attack missing? No, but it's Mux. Oh, are you serious? Uh, this is going to be pretty annoying. He's going to heal up now, most likely. Uh, let's just go lock ourselves into Thrash. Yeah, he's literally using Hyper Potions. This guy's not messing around right now. <laughs> and I think we Mux, he has... Um, Really high physical uh, defense, but not so high special defense. So, hit him with a special move. He's not going to be able to leave that, most likely. But hit him with a physical attack. He's tanking that. I'm going to use an effort right now, as you know, I want to be able to use Dig here. Uh, it's going to come in handy. I guess we'll use a max letter. Uh, well, either. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. Top I believe in you. Maybe not. <laughs> yep, Acid Armor does raise the defense of his Pokemon. So, yep, I was right. Come on. 
so yeah, he has more defense, so he's more likely to live the dig now. Ooh, we got the crit. Well done, Toxic added. When you get crits, it does it, it ignores any stat boosts that the opponent has. Um, so there we go, that was amazing. Well done, Toxic added. Toxic added really was annoyed at that um, muck using all his stat boosting. Uh, but here we go. Focus the next Pokemon, coughing level 37. Ability levitates with the move self to slow the smoke screen and toxic. You've already seen this uh, this coughing is the exact same as the one we already fought. Uh, he shouldn't be much worried here, really. Uh, is Toxic Addict really going to be able to sweep this guy? <laughs> this will be amazing if he does. But you know what? Ready for his next Pokemon. We might as well use like, a Hyper Potion or something. Let's just lock ourselves into Thrash. Come on, Toxic Addict. It's probably going to two-shot. Yep. Uh, come on. Oh, no, but he's went for the hyper potion. <laughs> he's, he's like the most annoying gym so far. Not only is it the hardest, it's the most annoying. Oh, that's going to be annoying, literally. <laughs> um, screw it. going to go for the thrash again. Come on. He may live on a bit of health. Yep. All right, come on. As long as we hit this thrash, this guy's down. Come on. I believe in you, Toxic Guided. Oh, I need to stop saying it. Because <laughs> it's just not working. There's the self-destruct. And if this... This just got interesting. This has got very interesting. Wow. We get no XP from that. And he's going into his final Pokemon. What should we use? Um... A shell shock? Try and confuse it with water pulse. But here we have Koga's final Pokemon. Weezing. Weezing, level 43. Poison type Pokemon with the ability to levitate with the moves to tackle, sludge, smoke screen, and toxic. Now the good thing is, this guy has, you know, well, it's not a good thing, but this guy's level is really high. Which is very annoying, but the good thing is, his moves aren't all that great. He just tries to annoy you with toxic and smoke screen and uh, stopping you from hitting it and uh, kind of just killing you, um, you know, with the poison. But I'm going to keep water pulsing until we confuse this guy. There's the toxic. Come on, Shell Shock. Sludge is the only thing, I guess, to worry about, honestly. Um, if anything, it's the only attacking move he'll really use. He's not very likely to use tackle unless you're all a poison type. Um, could use big foot, but you know. He's a. Uh, all his moves are fighting type, so we won't be able to do much with that. Let's just go for flight. Ah, oh, Hurricane! I was hoping for more damage than that. It's just, this guy. This guy needs a pain! But <laughs> look at the second, the second face is just like the first. <laughs> the first one is letting out a fart, and the second guy is reacting to it. He's like, "Whoa, man, that's stuck!" <laughs> Come on. As long as we uh, knock it out now, we are all good. We will be taking the badge home. There we go. We've done it. Well done, everyone. Hardest gym so far, and the most annoying as well. And there we go. Our leader Kogu is down. Huh. You are proving your worth. Here, take the soul badge. There we go, Koga is all down. Now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon rises. It also lets you, you surf outside of battle. Ah, take this too. TM06, now that TM contains Toxic. Now we already saw what that does. Um, you know, just puts the opponent's Pokemon to uh, poison. And I was, gonna bet, I was about to say to sleep, but yeah. Um, let's just do this. The annoying thing is, is that the walls stay up, um, even though, you know, Koga's already been defeated, but, you know, it's not that hard for me. Just go down, just scatter along the wall, and we should all be good to go. Now, uh, there we go. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, we'll be exploring future, s future City. Sounds like I'm saying future, uh, but no, I am saying future. So, yep, yeah, if you're excited for that, let me know, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.